really busy day today. So why am I making a video? Well, any distraction from hard work is always welcome as far as I'm concerned. So anyway, <laughs> I thought I would just do a quick tour around the uh, polytunnel and I'll just compare and contrast the peppers that are growing in the polytunnel with the ones that are growing outside. And the ones that are growing outside are so much better that I think I might even give up growing peppers in here. But um, yeah, we'll see. So uh, let's have a look around. So let's take a look at the polytunnel. 20 foot by 10 foot, people are always asking me from first tunnels. And yeah, so sweet corn looking really great. Really thickening up nicely now. I can feel the cobs underneath here really well. Probably one, maybe two weeks away, which would be nice because we've not had sweet corn now for, well, since late September, I should think. We've got five cucumbers, they're all looking like this. Really great. And we only harvested them three days ago, basically. So everything that I'll show you is new from the last three days in general. Really, really happy with the cucumelons this year. We go grow cucumelons in place of radishes in summer. Cucumelons are at their peak in summer. They're incredibly prolific. They're really tangy and tasty and they're really quite healthy as well. Radishes by comparison are not at their peak in summer and they're not particularly uh, healthy either. Cucumelons taste better, so we go for cucumelons and we grow them in these hanging baskets. We've got lots of them and they just trail down and the vines are just covered in these little, well, they're nothing like a melon and they're slightly like a cucumber, but they do look a little bit on the surface marking is a bit like a melon so I suppose that's why they call that. Centre cut squash, we've been harvesting this for a long time, the plant is a bit tired now. We might get one or two more off it in addition to those. That's the kind of size that we harvest at. It's a bit like um, courgette size, a bit nicer than courgette though. That whole shank there is free of seeds seeds are just in the bulb at the end. Tomatoes, so my favourite tomatoes at the moment are these. These are the honeycomb, a really nice succession of trusses here and we've been harvesting these only for about 10 days I think but they're looking they're really nice. They're like sun gold. They don't split quite as much as sun gold, although they do still split. So you have to take care with watering of these. Keep on top of it. Keep it consistent. Really nice. So the early celery is just coming to an end now. We've been harvesting this as a cut and come again crop. Probably got one more harvest off that. And then we'll switch to these plants, which are next to it. Um, next to the early ones and these will keep us going through summer until we clear the whole bed in October time and this is my second favorite tomato so this is sweet million recommended to me by Nigel on the muddy boots channel which is also highly recommended and yeah I'm really pleased with these they, uh, they go up and up like that fantastic trusses not quite as early as the honeycomb but uh, definitely prolific I haven't tasted any yet of course so uh, but I've got high hopes so thanks Nigel for that recommendation because we clear all the beds in October we like to have quite a few tomatoes in containers and obviously the ones I've just shown you these these will be finished easily finished by October but these plants, these are just starting effectively. Um, so I think this is a sweet million. And I've got lots of cuttings taken off the sun, off the uh, honeycombs. So these are cuttings, side shoots basically that I've potted up. I've got another video about that, so I'll leave that for later. And as you can see, more, loads more cucumelons 
more next succession tomatoes and some more here and some more there more side shoots so that is pretty much it some cuttings off the uh, perennial kales in case we lose any of them in the wind we've had really bad winds here recently so that is pretty much it bar the peppers an example of one of the peppers this is a long red marconi and um, we've got some more here long red marconis they're doing okay but they're not particularly far on and they don't look incredibly healthy these are the ones that i took pinched the tops out of in the theory being when you pinch the tops out they get lots of side shoots and they're really nice bushy plants so i thought you might like to compare those to the ones outside when i say outside i mean in these low tunnels we've got dwarf french beans in that one and peppers in these now obviously these low tunnels are absolutely invaluable over winter so they get replanted in october time but uh, what's in the moment are the peppers and they're really doing quite nicely i'm really quite pleased with them they are exactly what i like to see you know squat nice bushy plants with a fantastic yield on them so far and quite a lot of new flowers as well so these in here are california wonder very pleased with them i'll pop some photos in to show you the actual peppers themselves because it's a bit hard with the camera while i'm holding the top open but uh, yeah really really nice yield off these and as i said you know lots and lots of new flowers too i'll leave them like this well ventilated most of the time and then just close them up at night and if there's any really strong winds one of the nice things about having them in here is they don't need a tremendous amount of support either so I think these are new ace. Again, a really nice yield on them so far. I don't know if I can let you see them like that. Oh, the hot peppers, cyan peppers, and again, starting to ripen up quite nicely. Of course, all the ripe ones I've harvested, so I think I've harvested about, I don't know, a dozen, something like that so far. And then finally, the long red Marconi. Hopefully you can see these. Really nice. Big peppers on those. Some more here. Certainly long, not very red at the moment. And again, a good, really good harvest on the cyan peppers. I did just want to show you something that's not going so well. So this is one of the outdoor, well, so it started in the polytunnel French beans. It's kind of coming to the end of life now. Been harvesting it for a couple of months. It's definitely been worthwhile but it's not the most long lived of plants and the same sort of story for the runner beans. But as you saw, I've got so many dwarf French beans now and the uh, climbing French and runner beans at home are, are doing well as well. So I'm not too worried, but it does just show sometimes when you force things to come early, um, they, uh, they're not the longest of life. I think when this plant finishes in a few weeks time, I'm going to replace this with some late French beans. So I hope you like this quick video. My name's Steve, this is the Seaside Allotment Channel, and I'll see you soon. Mm -hmm.